Oh, g'day again, champions. Uh, we're back with that bad cat, Lynx 50. Um, just put it aside for a bit when I had some other pressing matters, and we're back to it now. Uh, let's give it a quick test and just a bit of a, a couple of sound samples for your listening pleasure. So, if you remember from the previous video, that switch on the back that simply says one or two. Uh, he's switching between two sets of uh, phase inverter coupler caps. So you've got your 22 nano on top there and your 100 nano down the bottom. So we'll try it on the 22s first. Uh, and I'll make a little tag there so you know which one's which. And then we'll switch to the 100 nano and see what the difference is. We know what the difference will be, but just have a listen. Just to refresh your memory from last time, there's the new cap. And uh, we cleaned up all the residue off the bottom by loosening off those tag strips and working our way under it and uh, on both ends cleaning up all the residue on the bottom of the chassis which had run up this end there was quite a bit of it uh, via capillary action all the cables touching the, the chassis there it sort of seeped under all of them so we had to work under there and clean it up without removing much stuff and I've reinstalled that uh, shorting plug there in place of the rectifier uh, we're just returning it back in its stock state we did it I did discuss with the owner um, maybe changing it to a valve rectifier but um he'd rather keep it as is he didn't even know the thing was capable or that was an option so uh we'll just put the thing back in and keep using those silicon diodes so we've got audacity running there through the mo2 got a mic on the cab under the bench and uh i'll just sync that up with the video showing you where the controls are at right so before we do some sound samples of this i thought i'll check the bias uh we're sitting at around 30 watts per valve at their eel 34s so that's about 120 percent so a bit warm but to change that it's cathode bias there's one resistor per side you can see down there the 270 ohm brown resistors there uh 10 waters we'd have to replace them then it's kind of not original so i'll talk to the customer about that and say look do you mind me changing these to like 330s or something ordering some in that looks similar uh, and maybe reusing the tubing and stuff but if you're not pushing it too hard, it'll probably be okay where it's at. What concerns me though is that's with our wall voltage at around 239 and it can be upwards of 250 in some areas. So that could be uh, pretty detrimental to the output valve's health. But for now, we'll crank it up, we'll have a listen. I'll give that option to the customer uh, just to make the output valves last a little longer. Just bearing in mind that it won't be the original circuit if we do that.
Anyway, that was a bit of fun. Uh, I didn't expect it to have anywhere near that amount of gain. It looks sort of boutique-y, old school-y. You can play full-on metal with this thing. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. It does the scoop thing if you turn the mid-boost mid down. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty versatile, really. This edge seems to be an uh, upper mid-range boost before the distortion takes place. You knock that back and it sounds a little bit like a boogie or a, I don't know, uh, Black Star or something. Um, and as you crack that up, it starts to sound more martially, you know, like brighter before distortion takes place. And the gain on tap is pretty huge. I wasn't wasn't expecting that. Um, now, the phase inverter coupling caps difference was actually surprisingly subtle. I thought it would make more of a difference uh, as you were turning it up into output stage distortion, but it it kind of was a bit more subtle than I expected. It's there, but it's it's not night and day. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a pretty cool little amp. And um, very versatile. I mean, you could use it for rock, metal, blues, probably jazz. It's got an effects loop as well. So yeah, anyway, interesting little amp. Thought you'd get a kick out of it. And uh, on to the next one, champions. So I'll see you on that one.